Today we'll demonstrate a smart control box configured with a Microtech screwdriver, smart arm, two pick to light smart bins, and one four position bit block assembly. We will now review the functionality of the system. The smart arm is a standard torque arm with a linear slide and two encoders, one at each pivot point. The encoders are directly connected to the smart control box. The smart control box reads the encoders and identifies the exact location of the screwdriver throughout the manufacturing process. The two pick to light smart bins consist of an optical sensor with a colored LED. Green indicates the bin to be selected. And red indicates a mistake or an error. The four position bit block also has an LED to indicate which bit to pick with an optical sensor inside. This concludes the review of the functionality of this configuration. We'll now review the programming of the system. To program the system, you first go to maintenance, log in. You then go to the teach mode. You can start at uh, the first step either at 0, 0 or 1, whatever you start programming is where it will begin from. So we'll start at 1. You locate the screwdriver at the desired location. Choose which bin you'll pick, which bit, and the torque signal. And the torque signal can change depending on uh, your preference for each step. You teach to continue to the next step in the process and continue that to program the system. Bin, bit, torque broker. Done. Then you would go to run and now you're ready to run the process that you just identified. That concludes the review of the programming process. We'll now review the operation of the system. Start by going to the run mode and click the jog dial. The program you just selected will appear. The first two digits indicate the step in the process you're at. The next four digits indicate what the system is waiting for next. BT00 indicates it's waiting for a bit. The correct bit is indicated by the L LED on the bit block. Once the correct bit is selected, the system will then ask for the next thing it's waiting for. In this case, it's waiting for a torque program. The correct bin was already pre-selected, indicated by the green light. Once you've achieved a good torque signal, the system goes to the next step in the process. The step number changes on the display and it tells you what it's waiting for next. BN01 means you have the wrong bin. As soon as you correct, select the correct bin, it's now going to ask you for a bit, BT01, and then a torque signal. The torque signal will only be activated when the tool is at the correct location for the step in the process. If you go to the wrong location, there will be no torque program selected and no power to the tool. Upon the completion of a good joint, the system will change to the next step in the process. For this demo, we programmed three steps. We're now at step three, selecting a new bit and getting a new screw from the correct bin. If you reach into the wrong bin at any time, the process will be disrupted, waiting for the correct bin to be selected.
At the completion of the joint, we complete the process. The system resets itself to the first step in the process, and the done system process is complete.